Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and today we're going to do tutorial number six. This should be the final uh, tutorial for the L and J wedding mini album. And we're going to put in our pages and do our outside decor. And I think then we should be done. So I've gone ahead and I've cut a piece of ribbon and this is a Hobby Lobby ribbon. It was $4.99 for three yards and I always wait until they go on sale 50% off so it was $2.50 and it's just in their trim department and it is kind of like an off-white creamy color. They do have it in white. So I have cut another piece here for that. I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Let's see, this has got a little dimple in it, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. There we go. Um, and we're going to do the back. And what I used to attach it was just some fabric tack. So I want to make sure I get the right side here because it's going to go like this. So I'm going to do it this way. I want this one out of the way so I don't get stickies all over. And we're just going to put some on here. And I'm just kind of dabbing it because it's fabric tech's a little stringy. So just trying to get some of it. I don't want it to come out too much because I don't want it squeezing all over the place. Sometimes it gets a little goopy inside there. Do the best I can. I wanted to do one with you. Things like this I do like to do off camera because they are a little more time consuming. But and because this is more of a lacy type thing, it's not like you can put a solid run of it down but I need enough that it's going to hold it down permanently. I'm also going to try to run some right along this little edge here. And that very top edge there, just a little bit. And I'm probably getting sticky all over my clean mat here. All right, let's screw that back on a second. And we're going to bring this back in. Um, hot glue, I guess you could use it, but it's going to, for this lacy type stuff, it's going to be a little messy. I want to bring that right to my edge there. Just like that. I'm going to gently tap it. And once it's a little dry, then I can go back and and check it to see if I need to maybe lift up the edges and put a little bit more in. But the other side glued pretty good. So, all right. So that's what we're going to do there. And I did attach the other piece of that with the glossy accents. So now... I did, whoops, that came off. Um, I wanted to attach another magnet here because that came on done. Um, I want this to kind of stay on there. Hang on. I'm going to see if I can press that on. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark with a marker, which I put down over here. That'll tell me where that has to be glued down to. Um, the re You could do this without it, but I until it's full, it's going to kind of sink down in. And I just for looks, I wanted to make sure. Okay, right there. So there's my ink there, there. So I'm going to go ahead and 
put that down. And we're going to cover this with decorative cardstock when we're all done. So I'm actually going to lift part of this tape up for right now. Put another piece down and an X pattern to kind of hold that just for right now. All right. And then what that does is that helps hold that together a little better. I mean, the latch holds it closed, but because when I did my test fit for my pages, it still kind of sank down in. But once she gets her pictures and everything in there, it's going to be thicker and will hold up nicely. So, but I just want to look, look nice for her. This is a gift and I want to, to look really nice. So, all right, so we can go ahead and hit your pages. Now, I did take some tiny magnets here on both of these, just really tiny, tiny ones. They're like, I don't know, eighth of an inch. So, um, and then I just took my paper punch, my regular paper punch, punched out a circle and just glued it to the top, just so these had kind of a way to hold shut. All right. So we're going to start attaching our pages. Oh, and I did finish the inserts. So they are all done. They're all exactly like they're just flipped. So you'll have one that starts out with a heart, then not the, the golden colored paper, the dot, and then this. And then the next one will be just the opposite. It'll be this the brown, the gold, and then that. So they just flipped both directions there. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab our pages. And we're going to get started here. I have this I want to, I added this little flip here for this to help hold these two close. I did do um, magnet here and magnet here, magnet here and magnet here just to help hold that closed. So we're gonna go ahead and decorate this. So for this part here, just move my mouse. I'm gonna use this dotted paper and I put a couple little strips of the gold washi tape on there. And I did use, get back in here. I did use um, this, we are member keepers punch, the green one. So I did use that. So we'll just go ahead and get this attached here. And for the top part, I did a strip of blue and then a strip of the sunflowers. And I decided to do this because I wasn't liking the way that they were stay enclosed and I thought if she stands this book up and puts it in like a bookcase or anything like that then those are going to want to flop down so you know these are things that sometimes aren't obvious at first and then as you start looking at it working with it it's like oh should have done that so this piece was uh, what was it eight and a half high by two and a half wide and then I scored it at what I scored at one and an eighth and one and a quarter on the short side there so and then that creates a gusset enough to go around and then it is attached back here to the last open page this is the one that flips down I'll show you in a second here so when you open this, it's attached under this silver band here. So just attached to the very last part of that. Okay. And then I just pared these down. The decoration parts are a quarter inch smaller. So just to add a little decorative element there. There we go. So that's all we had to do to that. And let's go ahead and do 
ready to. I did create a paper clip here. And all I did was go in and on the longest edge, I just curled it with my needle nose pliers to close it up. And then I just added a little um, heart charm that says love on one side and it's got just a little heart on the other side. And I'm using that as a decorative element to hold these two closed. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this side down and this side down. I usually don't peel them all the way down, but I want to add some glue because I want this to stay on there good. These are this one here. The front one's a little heavy, so we're just going to pull it. Put the glue on there and then that will allow us a little bit more time to slide around if i'm opening here all right right there okay i'm gonna get these other ones out of my way and i'm gonna hold this the best that i can and we're gonna Slide that, and I don't want to slide it down too far and get that glue spread all over. Okay, but I want. Okay, I'm just going to kind of press that like that. Double check this side where we're at. Okay, and then I'm going to press that. Okay, I'm going to open this. Put these open so I can get right to that. And press down there. And I think I forgot to tell you, this is a just a piece of mulberry paper. I had 12 by 12. And um, I like the idea of the extra texture and look it gave. So and it was in the right color spectrum. So let's close this. And then go ahead and open this. And we'll give this a good press too here. Just the best as hard as we can there. We want to make sure that those are attached the best we can. Okay. All right. Oops. There we go. Okay. And that gives us like still like a quarter of an inch edge there. And that gives us a little bit more room to lay these up. Just a little bit flatter than if they were a half inch and we were going all the way down to the edge. Because all of these things take up room. So just like that. So that's perfect. So you've got this and then this one in there. Okay. All right. We're going to do the same thing with the number two. I'm going to peel these off. I don't want to touch them with my fingers because even though my hands are nice and clean, we still have oils in our hands, even right after we wash them. And those oils can interfere with how our tape works. Oops. All right. Okay, so our next one is this one. Put the clip on there. Again, we're going to open that nice and big. Try not to push it down too far. Get this out of my way. Look in here. I want to go to where I'm not seeing the shiny. Okay, and then that's gentle. Just gently, gently, gently looking so I can still move it. Okay. 
and I believe we're good. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. Give this a good push there. this out of our way. Give this a good push here. Okay. Nice and nice and strong there. Best we can. A little blue squeezing out, which is fine. Means I'm getting a good press on it. All right, there we go. And then our next piece. All right. Ding, dokey. All right. So this is our next one. Our one with the little ribbons here. So let's go ahead and this on. Again, I'm holding this in place here. I want to make sure that I'm going just only as far as I have to where I don't see the shiny no more. Line it up. Just a little bit more here. Just a gentle touch there and I'm going to come back here same thing I'm just going to press it here It's got to go further in there. There we go. There we go. There. a good push there. All right. And then once we start leaving these alone, they'll be able to set and they'll be able to finish drying and do what they need to do. All right. Last one. Okay. So I've taken the um waterfall off so I can work with this a little easier. I don't want to have that extra weight and stuff in my way while I try to get this on there. Okay. All 
and I won't put the tags in until this is good and dry and then I'll put them in and you'll see them in the walkthrough. Get where I can't see the shiny there. Okay. And we'll get there. Just a little bit. Blue. Here we go. Right. I see a little X in here. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this back on there, and that was ready to go there, just like that. So you can see, now this is kind of like, just down just like a half an inch, just like about that much. So once she gets her pictures and stuff in here, that will raise automatically. And then those magnets won't be as necessary, but yeah, it's looking good. Looking good, looking good. Okay. So let's go ahead and decorate the inside here. I'm going to take these off. And I think we'll use this paper here. What's my height? Um, let's see here. my ruler down somewhere here it is all right so i want the same height as this one so right here i'm measuring the brown one here so it is 10 and an eighth so 10 and an eighth let me see if this is the same it might be cut off the same thing well yep yeah. Perfect. Okay. She just did that to begin with, right? And then we need it. That is three inches. So we're going to go two and three quarters wide. So let me set this aside here. Let me. Two and three quarters. Okay. So two and three quarters. So, let's just and the brown doesn't really need a ton it's just to kind of remove that white edge on there Corners. Let's just double check to make sure. Yep, perfect. Just wanted to double check, make sure it was okay. So we've got a magnet in there and we've also got our brads from our closure. That we needed to cover, so that looks good. There we go. And now I want to put in this is a brad, but it's got the the um I don't want to say toggle but it's not toggle it's got the um I don't remember what they call them <laughs> isn't that crazy um the way so you can hang these on there Tim Holtz has some but they're a lot smaller this is a different uh, brand that I purchased Gert, no. 
No. No. So I'm going to hold that and I'm going to press those down the best that I can. Get those flattened out. There we go. Just like that. And then we'll put another piece on there. I don't think these are wide enough. Why not? So we know this is the right height. So let's go ahead and measure what we need there. So it is I want to say two. Let's go two and a quarter. And try that first. Two and a quarter. In a quarter, right there, and we'll do a two test fit and see if that's correct. Yes, I think we're good there. Again, we're just going to kind of get rid of that white stark edge there if we can. There we go. A little extra glue around here. So that is done there. So now I'm not going to leave it on here, but I have created this little charm. And then this is a Tim Holtz item. It's got the little thing that you push and it opens. If I can get it to work. There we go. It just flaps open. And uh, we're going to put this on there. It's got a little wedding. Uh, engagement band or wedding ring band on there it's just a charm and then another one of those little hearts they say love on the back it's in silver and then just this uh phrase that says memories on there i thought that was good and she can add other charms to it if she wants to that's going to clip right on there but we're not going to do that right at the second because i don't want it to interfere with what well it shouldn't it shouldn't let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to open this up and then we'll just clip that on there. I want to figure out which way it's going to go. Just like that, I guess. And then snap that closed. And then our charm hangs down there. Just like that. Like I said, she can add other charms on there too. If she would like. All right. So let's go ahead and get started in our decorating. I'm going to open this up. Now I have a, a sticker here and it's got a butterfly, a clock, which to me reminds me of like timeless, like your marriage is timeless. It's forever, however you want to think about it. This is a sticky, sticky sticker. So I'm going to carefully take this off. And I don't know what brand this is. I bought it at my local craft store and it was, um, it, uh, where do I want to put that? Let's 
No, not like that. I think like that. So I'm going to add some extra glue, even though this is extremely sticky. Just in case. A couple of years from now, it dries out. Um, so it didn't didn't say what kind it was. It was just all in one clear package. Uh, so the pack, original packaging must have got damaged. And... Uh, so oh, you know what I should have done? And I'm going to quick do it. Just smudge those edges a little bit so they're not so stark white. There we go. Not so stark white. We got that on there so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I have created some of my own flowers here and this is actually from Yinping dye craft store and it's the sunflower it was $2.99 and it's from uh, AliExpress so that's where I got that. So I've cut three of these. And it actually is a real nice die cut. And it is about oh, two and a quarter inches, I want to say. Two and yeah, probably flattened out two and an eighth to two and a quarter inches. And I've all I did with the other two, and we'll do the third one together, is I just took my ball on my Thing. And I just pressed right at the tip there. I just want to curl that tip. So I'm just pressing the bottom of the petal up out to the tip. Just to get that to kind of bowl up there. Okay. And then we're just going to glue them together. And I just took my art glitter glue. And then I would run these around in a circle till I found where it looked like it would match up good. I just kept going until I got the best option. I think like right like that. Because I'm on kind of offset. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do another one here. I don't know what I did with my... So I'm going to do the same thing, kind of run it till I see where they're offset the best. And it looks like right there. Okay. Press that good. And then, I thought I had one out. Let me grab another one. I just took, I tried different things. I tried, um... I'm going to show you what I tried. I tried to use some Martha Stewart flocking. And I don't think they even sell this. In, I mean, you probably can find it somewhere online. But it was just the uh, chestnut flocking powder. Looked good, but not quite what I was going for. But it, it did work. I'll be honest. It did work. But still not quite what I was going for. Okay, so now that this is dried up a little bit, I'm going to go in the center of this, and I'm going to flatten that out in the center, just like that. Now I've got just your regular pipe cleaners or Chanel stems, uh, $1.99. These are happen, just happen to be from Hobby Lobby, and they run these on sale. Not usually 50% off, but 30 to 40% off. But they're $1.99 for 30 pieces. So this is just the brown. And what I did was I took my needle nose pliers and I just grabbed onto the end and then just started to bend it. Okay. And then I pinched that between my fingers and started to turn this. Okay. And I'm going to grab it the other way because I'm right handed. And I want to curve down. So I just keep spiraling it. 
right up on itself, kind of tight. I'm just pinching it and then just keeping the it touching each other. And then when it gets to about the size I think it needs to be, then I test it. And that looks about right. See? Looks about right. So I'm going to come in with my other tool here, my little nip. I'm going to nip this off right there. Okay. Now I want this to kind of curl in because I don't want it sticking out. So I'm just going to bend that over. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to try to find the best spot for this. Because for some reason it always has its own little best spot that it looks best in. And I'm thinking right there. So I'm going to grab a hold of this with my fingernails and hold it like that. I'm going to add some glue on the back side here that will hold all those spirals together plus adhere it to so I've got a good amount of glue and I just it's not real thick and I'm just going to lay this right back in there and give it a little press so that glue is doing two things it's holding the spiral together and it's adhering it to the inside but look at how cute this looks isn't that cute it's like perfect so i was so happy with that result as you can tell <laughs> so i have created those like that and i have done them in different colors and i it also comes with these leaves that i've cut in kind of a forest green color just out of regular cardstock and I have made these in several different colors. I have a blue or brown, more of a, this is more of a golden yellow, but then I used a smudge of like uh, red ink just to smudge on them before I did them, just to create something different. I also have this little frame, and that was from uh, Jolie's. Now, I don't know if they still sell these. It was a pack of two. Uh, they came this color. I painted this one white with just a white paint marker. That's all I used. In addition to that, I added some gems from Hobby Lobby. Just this gem pack. These are actually in the jewelry department. I think they're around $10. Use a coupon or wait until they go 50% off. I think they still carry those. And... Uh, so I've added six on each side. Then I took a gold marker, paint marker, and a silver paint marker. Whoops, sorry about that. I These just happen to be pen touch markers, both of them, and they work really good. And I was real pleased with the gold and silver color. So I did this silver, this silver. This is going to be covered up. And then I did around the frame in the gold there. So that's how I got that. In addition to that, this is still on its plastic uh, because I painted it on the plastic and I just left it on there because it does have some tape. I removed the um, tape from the bottom here and part of this. And then I created a little template to go inside. So, and I did leave a little pull tab there for her so it's going to look kind of funky but it's going to enable her to slide this out she can flip it over and she can add a picture here remove this add a picture and slide that back in so and i'll i'm going to do a private video just for her uh, to explain this book and uh and then she'll be able to no do it so let's go ahead and glue this on. This is going to be right down in here. That way she can put a nice photo. She can leave this yellow flower in there if she wants, or she can put a nice photo of them together in there. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. This, I'm going to add a bit of hot glue on here too. I want this to stay good. I don't want to interfere with that picture being able to slide in and out. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to adhere that right down like this. See, pushed on it too hard. Perfect. Okay, so 
right, let's go ahead and slide this back in there. Just like so. Ooh, a little tight. Might have to cut that down a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah. We'll let that dry and then we'll trim that down if we need to. Now I wanted to use, oops, where'd it go? From my Cricut, I cut out our wedding and it's in that darker blue and I want that right up there, just like that. So I am going to use just my art glitter glue and get this glue down there. Now, rather than have the eye on there, the dot for the eye, I'm going to use one of the gemstones in place of that. Okay. So I want that kind of in there. I don't know if I want to use the gold one. Come here. <laughs> the gold one. Oh my gosh. Get out there. Stood back behind there. There we go. All right. Or a bigger white one. Let's see. I'm thinking clear. These are all different sizes here. Some of them are small, some of them are big. Let's see, is this too big? Huh, I think I kind of like that. Let me try this next size down first. It's a little bigger than the small yellow. Let's see. All right, let's go with that one. We'll go with that one. Whoops. I'm going to put that right there and then lay this right in there, just like that. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now I want to do some different colors here. So I'm not sure if I want to do the Yeah, kind of off the side there, I think. Do I want the brown? Do I want this golden color in there? Let's see. And I do have some of the leaves attached here already, as you can see. Just want these to kind of intermix with each other. Okay. All right. Okay. So I think I'm going to glue this blue one there. Or do I want the brown one there? All right. Let's do the brown one there. Okay. So I'm just, I got my hot glue back behind me here. So I'm going to add a fair amount of hot glue on there. And then we're going to touch that right like so. Just like that. And then let's do this. I think we'll do this gold one or yellow one here. Good amount of Hot glue, whoops, bunch of rolling all over the place, just like that. All right, and then we're going to, this blue one here, same thing, nice amount of hot glue. And then slide this in there. Yes, I know you want to keep going down, there we go. 
there. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. And I have, in addition to that, I have the, uh, there was only a couple of these. Most of them were separated. Most of them were like a separate ring and a separate band. This was one, and I don't know if there were more of them, and I used them in uh, a different thing, but I only had one of those left and one band left. And so we're going to use those on there. We have a piece of plastic that I want to chop off. Oh, <laughs> and when I did that, the gem fell onto my hand. Okay. All right. Let me get this glued back in there. Apparently, I just cut the dab off to the band. Let's see here. You know what? Worst case scenario, I can get the other one. I can put a, another stone in there. Okay. Let's see if I can get this back on there. Come on. I know it's going to give me problems. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, I think I want to use, I think I'm going to use glossy accents for this because it adheres really good. Where's my band? Right there. Let me see if I've got to. These close up really fast sometimes. So let me get this open again here. There we go. And get some on there. We're going to do the same for this one. Get some glossy accents on there. Okay. All right. What else do we have? I have some little butterflies that I cut out. Now, these were cut out from the new graphic 45. Oh, where did that go? Right here. The new graphic 45 die. I did cut a pocket out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but it was cut out. And then I also cut out, I just used the bottom of the tag and cut that out and then that can go inside of there like that to decorate the inside. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm, I'm going to use this, but that was also from this new die from Graphic 45. Now the butterfly be over in here. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and just put that in. I'm just going to use a little bit of my glossy accents there just on the body part of that and we're just going to slide that down in there like that i don't want it sticking too far out because i don't want it to get pulled on by and let's see if i can if that's dry now i can slide this in and out okay i'm going to trim this down just with my scissors just a little bit Let me just trim this side down here a little bit. This side here. Let's see if that's enough. I think just a little bit more. 
And I'm just taking off little slivers, but I don't want this to be complicated for her to slide in and out, so. There it goes. So I'm gonna just kind of run this on angle a little bit. Just like so. Oopsie. Come on. Oh goodness gracious. My goodness gracious. I don't know if the paper's too light or what. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and round that off a little bit more. Oh, I see there. There's some glue right there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to work on that. So I'll have to go through that in the walkthrough because I think some glue got in there. Where it wasn't supposed to. So rather than hold you up, I will show that in the walkthrough. Anything else I need? I think that's kind of good. I don't think I don't want to overdo it. I do have this uh, celebration, and it was a fab scraps item, and then I just used the silver paint marker for that also so i think i want to put that maybe on the back side i do want to put this on the back side it just says i do and then i cut it down and i just used the crocodile green chomper punch for that too so just to decorate the back a little bit Go up just a little bit there from the bottom, just like that, and then you know what? I'm just gonna wait on that. I like the looks of just that on the back. This is good and dry, looks like it's holding good. So, I think. Unless I want to add some of those green leaves on there. Which we can. I can just pull them off. and yeah, Let's go ahead and tuck a couple of those in here and there. And then. All right. On there. Maybe one up here. Okay. Just getting a little bit down here. Okay. And that'll be an odd number, so I think we'll just leave that at the pick that up there so I can get that in there. All right, so I think we're going to leave it at that for right now. And uh, I don't think I need to add anything else to it. If I do, you'll see it in the walkthrough, and I will um, let you know what if I changed anything then. So thanks so much for following along, and uh, I hope you... Give an album a try, if not this one, maybe one of my other ones. I have uh, several that are very, very easy. So hope you hope you give uh, some of these albums a try. They are fun to do, and they are a useful item, too, and they make great gifts. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it if you did that at this time. 
you can hit the red subscribe button down in the corner and when the bell pops up then go ahead and select that and you can be notified each time that i put up a new video so as always until the next time i hope you have a great day bye, -bye.